Hi guys, I'm back again and today we're going to talk about how to get into your bathing suit. It's summer now and we want to get bikini ready as quickly as possible. So I've brought a friend along, Sabrina, and her and I are going to talk today about how can you get into the best shape so you feel really good getting into your <laughs> bikini. <laughs> So you have your weights, now it's time to get started working out. Um, we're going to start with bicep curls today. So there's simple exercises you can do for your arms. So why don't we start with the weights down. We're going to lift and rotate and flex. We're going to do about mm, maybe 8 to 12 and I want you to join along with us. So here we go. Nice and easy. You're going to lift and rotate and then drop slowly. You're going to keep your posture in check because you don't want to exercise without good posture. You want to stay in good posture all the time so that way when you finish you look like you have a great figure so up and down are your arms getting a little tired yeah <laughs> they're tired from yesterday <laughs> <laughs> see that's the thing about working out you can just do it every day and kind of keep rolling with it and you can continually feel good every day you work out so it never ends. You keep moving. <laughs> okay, so after you finish that, what you want to do is maybe go down to your legs. We're going to do some squats. So you're just going to sit and stand. And the key is to really keep your knees over your ankles and sit your buttocks way back. So let's do 10 of those. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You want to make sure you're breathing. <laughs> 5, Four. And again, notice that we're keeping our posture even though we're dropping and lifting our lower bodies. Good job. And I don't know, I lost count. I think that's about 10. <laughs> so now we want to train the back of the arms. We're going to extend the elbows back. We're going to pull in the core. And we're going to push the weights out and in. Nice and tight in the middle. And we're going to breathe. And we're following the line of our spine with our elbows. So again, you at home, make sure that you have a nice long spine and that you're extending your elbows out and in, tightening the back of the arm. You don't really want to move the shoulder at all. Just keep that elbow really high in the air. If you have a mirror around, you can always look in the mirror. Make sure you see the same silhouette as what you see from Sabrina and I. Okay, two more. And last one. All right, come on up again. <laughs> now to make this efficient, we're gonna repeat that and I want you to repeat it with us at home because this workout again is really for you to follow along with me and do. So here we go again. We're gonna do bicep curls, so ready? <laughs> you can stand there and I'll face the camera up and down. And again, we're breathing because oxygen is part of exercise. And we're also gonna take a water break pretty soon. And make sure you eat something before you work out. Some people make the mistake of trying to exercise on an empty stomach because they're worried that having uh, food in the stomach will prohibit them from really getting the most. But a little something in your stomach is important before you work out. You know, like we're gonna talk about later on, the um, nutritional value of exercise. Good. All right, and back to the squats. So here we go, down and up, yep. excellent. Yep, so we're just hinging and then unhinging at the hip, sending the glutes way back, because it's all about the booty. <laughs> it's all about the booty. <laughs> yep. Do you know that your gluteus maximus is the biggest muscle in your body? And it's actually <laughs> designed specifically to lift you. So when you're at home, if you have to lift a heavy laundry basket, or your groceries, make sure you lift them like we're lifting our weights. All right, now we're gonna hold, and once again, we're gonna prop our elbows up, and we're just gonna push out the triceps for 10, nine, eight, seven. Yep, and we're breathing, because our heart rates are coming up a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay. Good. So we just did biceps, triceps, and squats. Now we're going to move on to some shoulder work. 
We're going to put our elbows at our side and we're going to strengthen the rotator cuff. Oftentimes you don't hear about the rotator cuff until someone has maybe an injury. So to prevent injuries, we're going to rotate the arms out to the side and then to the middle, nice and easy. Yep. For seven, we're going to do about eight of these. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Now we're going to lean forward and we're going to train our back. So by maintaining almost the same position, we're going to just take the weights and then gently slide the back muscles towards the spine. For seven, six. I always tell people, imagine you're like a big butterfly and you're flapping your big butterfly wings. <laughs> For four, <laughs> three, excuse me, two, and one. Good. And we're going to complete this set by doing a shoulder exercise. I want you to turn your palms upside down, keep your elbows close to your body, and be very careful with your shoulders because shoulders are finicky joints, and if you move them the wrong way and you feel like there's a little discomfort, stop and realign yourself because you don't want to damage your shoulders by forcing them to do a movement that they're not comfortable doing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the weights up and down. Good job. Seven. Yep. Six. And again, this is a great muscle to have looking good for the summertime because all those summer outfits show off those shoulders. For four. Three. And it feels so good to work out on the beach. <laughs> Two. And one. Excellent. Now we're going to go into another leg exercise. And this is a simple exercise, but it does take a little um, preparation. Sabrina, it's the plie squat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, I'll show it from the side angle, and why don't you show it from the front? All right, so what she's going to do is she's going to show you that she's rotated her toes out to the side, and her knees are right over the ankle. What I'm going to show you is that from the side, you pretty much just go straight down and up in this exercise. Even though it's a squat, you're not hinging at the hip, you're not flexing, and you're not pushing out your glutes. You're allowing the gluteal muscles to stabilize the legs. This is great for knees, but make sure, again, your knees are right over your ankles when you go down and up. Let's do about 12 of these. Here we go. Down, and then squeeze for 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to repeat all those. Again. <laughs> but Sabrina knew I was going to say that. By repeating all these exercises again, we're going to compound the benefits of weight training. So here we go. We're going to go on to the rotator cuff, and you at home, again, can continue to follow this exercise program out to the side for eight, seven. This is for the rotator cuff. Six, five, four, three. Two. Once you do them the first time, the second time, it's a piece of cake, right, Sabrina? <laughs> yeah, it's always easier the second time. <laughs> okay, you're going to lean forward at your hip. You're going to put your weights together, stick your glutes back, and you're going to draw your back muscles into your spine. Remember that butterfly flapping its big butterfly wings for six, five, four, and this is going to help your posture for three, two, and one. Okay? I'm going to invert the arms and we're going to do shoulder raises again. So here we go. For eight, seven, six. Making sure that shoulder feels really comfortable. How does your shoulders feel, Sabrina? <laughs> Fatigued. <laughs> but comfortable, But right? comfortable, yeah. <laughs> no pain or discomfort. Good. Two more. 
And again, there's no magic number to how many times you should do these. You hear me say eight, sometimes 10, sometimes 12. It's really up to you. When you feel like your muscles are getting tired, that's when you know you're gonna get your best results. So here we go. Let's externally rotate the legs again and finish with a plie squat. Make sure the knees are over the ankles and we're gonna go down and up. Yeah. And I really like these because again, we do move laterally sometimes in life. Life is not always forward and back. You might be standing in a grocery store. You, someone might call your name and you might turn quickly <laughs> to look to see who's calling you. <laughs> And if the muscles aren't prepared to support your knees or your ankles, that's when we end up with, you know, little sprains and things that we wish we didn't have. So if you can do some of these exercises to, st to strengthen the inner and outer thighs, you're gonna fare a lot better when it comes to life and everything that life involves. So we're gonna do one more here. Excellent, okay. And that completes the first, mm, no, let me see. <laughs> That completes the second half. I, can we have a water break? <laughs> now we're gonna do another exercise for your legs. These are called rear lunges. And if you're just starting off with lunges and you really don't have any knee issues, then it's a great exercise to tone and um, strengthen your leg muscles. I recommend though, if you do have any knee problems, you hold off for a few weeks and add these in, you know, again, after you've gotten used to the squats and the plies. So here we go, this is what a rear lunge looks like. I'll show you from the front and Sabrina will show you from the side. We're just gonna alternate legs. We're gonna drop on the toe and because we're on the beach, we're a little imbalanced, so we're gonna go really carefully to balance. We're gonna come up and then step together. Once we get the hang of it, we can move more cohesively and you can too at home. It is a balancing exercise, so you wanna use your core as well and you wanna make sure the knee is 90 degrees or greater and it's great to tone up your hip thighs and buttocks. And again, we're gonna do about eight to 12, just down and up and down and up. And again, you wanna go behind you because that's gonna provide you the most stability when you're just learning how to do lunges. Good, and down and up and down <laughs> and up. There's that balance factor. You know, balance, as I taught you in the first series, is important, and balance isn't, doesn't always have to be perfect either. It's trying to balance that sometimes gives you the best results. Okay, let's do one more. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we're gonna train the shoulders again, and we're gonna do another range of motion. This one is sort of interesting because you're gonna put one arm to the front of your body, and one arm to the side of your body. So, you ready, Sabrina? Okay, we're yeah. gonna do eight of these. Shoulders back, head up. Here we go. Eight. Seven. And again, you wanna listen to those shoulders. Make sure they feel like they're moving cohesively. If it feels uncomfortable or there's twinges or pains, stop, take a break, and realign your arms. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I guess that's life on the beach. <laughs> it's a good thing my mat is plastic. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna go to the other side. And here we go, the other side. One arm to the front, one arm to the side. Because again, sometimes life is not always balanced and symmetrical. Sometimes you do things that require you to lift your body in one direction and another, like lifting your groceries, or, you know, if you're, moving things around your house and you have something in one hand and something else in another hand. <laughs> okay, one more. Excellent. Now in this series of exercises, we're gonna finish by really training the posture. Again, I'm a big posture advocate, so let me show you how you can get your upper back to look as good as Sabrina's. <laughs> she pulls her shoulders up and back, but she also works on that. So let's hinge at the hip and we're gonna put the weights together now. So I'll show you again from I the front. I can do it from the front. Okay, you do it from the front and I'll do it from the side. We're gonna put our weights together and we're gonna focus on the upper back. We're gonna draw the weights underneath the breast line and we're gonna slide the scapula towards the spine. Really thinking about how our posture looks the whole time. So this is six. And again, now we need to breathe heavier because we're starting to use up our oxygen and that's important. Let your body get the oxygen it needs. For three, 
for two. I'm loving this workout today, it's awesome. <laughs> I've never worked out like this on the beach, it's so great. Let's repeat those, so here we go. Start back to the, lunge, the rear lunges, ready? And down, and squeeze up, and drop, and lift. Abs tight, use your core muscles for balance, be gentle on your knees, make sure the back of your foot is lifted as you drop down. Squeeze your hip thighs and buttocks. Use your weights for that little extra kick. And get bikini ready. Two more. And last one. Good. Now we're going to do the front and side shoulder raises for eight. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Second time around is always <sighs> easier, huh? Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, same thing. Keep your shoulders nice and even when you do this. For eight, seven. Do you know that weight training burns calories? If weight loss is one of your goals, weight training will actually help that along. Your metabolism goes up when your muscles are leaner and denser like they are when you do weight training. Two more. And last one. And then the last exercise. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> is for that posture. And again, you're gonna lean forward at your hips. Your abdominals are nice and tight. You're gonna send your buttocks back and we'll face each other for this one. Here we go. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. You did it. <sighs> now I want you to go and grab a mat or a towel and we're gonna finish this exercise routine on the ground. So Sabrina's gonna finish up our workout by doing pectoral flies, all right? These are great for bathing suits and summer outfits, again, because they tighten up right around where your tank tops hit your um, body. So she's gonna gently open her weights down to the ground and then close them together, squeezing her chest muscles. That's one, two, excellent. And I wanna know, I want you to note that her weights are low on her body. A lot of people make mistakes when they try to work their chest and they put the weights too high and then their shoulders get too tired and they really aren't getting the chest. But by placing the weight slightly below your chest line, you actually get more of the muscle than if you were higher. Are you counting? No. <laughs> really right. Yeah. She's just relaxing. No, not really. <laughs> She's just enjoying the feeling of making her body stronger and fitter. Okay, hold those weights together. Now, I'm gonna have her lift her legs up in the air and one knee is gonna come into her body and one leg's gonna stretch and she's just gonna do some movement through her legs. The reason we do this is to start to engage her core a little bit so that her muscles start to know that they're gonna be working harder and it prepares the core to stabilize the spine so you don't um, abruptly go into, you know, having to support your spine. She's just kind of warming herself up for a core work. Okay, how about two more? Awesome. Okay, feet down. Now she's gonna bend her elbows, drawing the weights towards her head. Now be careful on this one because obviously it does, the weights are close to your face. So just go easy the first few times you do it. She's gonna go down and up, and this is gonna get the back of her arms. So it's called a tricep extension. Good, down and up. And she's keeping her shoulders still. How's that feel? Awesome. I'm like looking at the sky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay. She's going to now turn her waist horizontally and she's going to bring her ribs closer to her hips. Now she's contracting her core muscles, so she's gonna start to work on her um, abdomen. 
Good. Up and down. Nice. Excellent. Keep going. We're going to do about four more here. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Now, she's not going to do the weight, anything with the weights for a minute. She is going to continue to strengthen her core by lifting both her legs up in the air and slowly lowering her legs down to the ground. And much like a wave in the ocean, she's going to pull her knees in and then go back up. And this is, exa again, exhibiting the power of your core. It's a great exercise to strengthen your midsection and, again, produce a healthy back as a result. And the weights are just anchoring her down so she can focus on her legs. And are you breathing? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Always breathe when you exercise. It's a really important thing. Two more. And last one. All right, Sabrina, let me grab those weights for you. And that's a beginner work weight training workout. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you can follow along weekly and see the great results, and again, get off to the beach as much, as much as possible this summer. See you in the fall. We're gonna show you how to get into your bikini. <laughs> Ready? You could do your left leg first or your right leg first. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get into a bikini for the summer. <laughs> That's funny. Because <laughs> you know, it's all about getting into your bikini. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> get it? See, get, get it? it? <laughs> Getting into your bikini? <laughs> this is how you get into your bikini. I lost this. <laughs> you can borrow it. <laughs> it I'm sure it would look amazing on you. I know I love the yellow too. I love the denim. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get into your bikini. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Aren't you glad you watched us today? So I'm Sabrina's personal trainer. And doesn't she look amazing? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. But she's inspired me along the way too because a personal trainer believes in the process and we certainly give a great exercises and we can continually work people out. But there are parts of our lives that we also need advice and guidance on. And Sabrina has been that for me. She taught me that eating is a self-love and you really do need to slow yourself down and look at the way you eat and that's how you're going to get ready for your bikini. I'm always um, going from place to place, you know, to my office, I'm working in the library, I'm working at home. There isn't always time to make perfect nutrition happen so it's all about convenience, it's all about planning. <laughs>